Hello. Welcome to northern Michigan here. It's actually northern lower Michigan. Uh, this is my off-grid cabin. I've been watching everybody else's videos. Saw some good stuff. Saw some stuff I wouldn't do. <laughs> um, start off with the shed here. Got a 12 by 24 shed. Uh, steel roof. It's the Amish built buildings that I'm using. Um, got me a solar motion light there. All self-contained. This is where we store the generator, tools. Uh, I like to hunt. I got a plow in there and wood splitter. And that's we store wood in there to keep it dry. It's got a nice loft for storing extra wood and things as we're working on the cabin. That's the cabin there. Got a 500 watt windmill. I have to get back to you on the windmill. Um, claims to be 500 watts. We had 15 mile an hour winds this weekend. I measured 24 watts. Um, not very impressive. Um, it's one of those ones with the Delco alternator and the carbon blades. It's supposed to be all awesome. Um, I think there's something wrong with it, but I'll get back to that. This is uh, my water uh, system. I actually catch water from the roof, pre filter it, run it underground, and then uh, I think you can see the wellhead there. It's a uh, there's a 550 gallon tank underground there. Uh, I got a well, basically did it like a real well with a 12 volt uh, submersible pump. Um, these are my solar panels. Super super happy with those. I got 420 20 watt panels there. Um, wire running underground to the cabin. Run an 8 gauge wire for that. Um, you see my connectors when we get inside. Uh, uh, had a bad experience with where I bought the first two panels from. Guy told me if I didn't know how to hook them up, I shouldn't have bought them. Forgot more about hooking up electronics than he'll ever know. Um, the uh, we got an air conditioner there. Uh, this is my emergency shut off for uh, windmill and solar panel. Use Harbor Freight battery disconnects, automotive one style. Uh, works pretty good. Uh, temporary propane tank set up. Just trying to figure out how I'm going to do that. i got a propane stove inside. Um, I'm going to do a tankless hot water heater this summer. It's my old battery box. It worked really well. Um, kind of outgrown it, so now it's just a storage for extension cords and stuff. Um, go around here and we'll go inside. Check this out. Um, got a chimney there for the wood stove inside. Um, learned a little lesson there. It's got to be really long so you get a good draft. Uh, <laughs> that's a funny story. Um, these cabins are built by the Amish and they come empty and then you finish them off inside how you like. Um, oh, I wanted to show you. We've got these plugs here. Harbor Freight works really good. They're hooked up to the AC system in the cabin. Uh, got a little LED bulb in it and uh, lights up the porch really, really nice uh, when you're up here. And then I have an actual porch light that we use. That's 12 volt. It's a 2.2 watt bulb from uh, Menards. Uh, again, that works really nice. I made that fixture myself, kind of cobbled a bunch of parts together. Um, in here, we have, uh, I did all my switches. Those in there, it's a little dark in here right now. Uh, those uh, these standard light switches, even though I did all 12 volt lighting inside, um, built my own fixtures. Look at the roof, the ceiling's not done yet, but uh, built my own uh, little deals there. Uh, there's the wood stove, turned out really nice. That's from uh, TSC, uh, and a TV and a Blu ray player flat screen on the wall. Uh, we bring the satellite tuner up and I also have antenna. Got a apartment style refrigerator. Uh, runs on 110 just like normal. Um, here's the meat and potatoes of it that everybody seems to want to see. Uh, we have a Ramson 3000 watt inverter. Uh, really happy with that. Uh, it's a pure sine wave inverter so I get nice clean power. Runs TVs, Blu-ray player. Uh, geez, I've run air conditioner off it, 
uh, whole deal. Got a Coleman Air uh, charge controller. It's got the switch on it. Uh, it's supposed to handle 440 amps. Thing has worked fabulous. Um, got the nice display. I wish I would have got the one with the amp meter on the front. Um, really would like to know uh, amps of uh, that I'm drawing. Uh, used a standard small electrical panel, and then for you got to have a dump load uh, for your system. Uh, that's uh, I believe a 400 watt dump load. Uh, I'm going to have to add to it when I get my windmill going right. Just bought this thing. Uh, got this on eBay. This little thing is awesome. Uh, you can track. Uh, it tracks your amp hours, your peak watts, peak uh, voltage, uh, your low voltage, current amps, current watts, uh, and obviously current voltage. Um, and then I use these style of connectors. Uh, they're for ATV winches. Uh, you can find them on eBay pretty reasonable. Uh, you can't mess the polarity up, and they're non-gender, so you can move stuff around how you want. Um, worked really well for me. Um, unplug and plug pretty easy. Um, got a little propane stove, uh, microwave, uh, air conditioner built in the wall there. Um, just brought my water inside actually this weekend. Uh, I'm going to do a, a pump uh, for that, but for right now, uh, the pump's in the ground. I'm going to have a pump inside too and use the pump in the ground as a lift pump, but this is your switch to turn it on and off. And then we have a spigot here that gets us by for right now, and it hasn't had any problems with freezing. Um, and we go down the hallway here. This is the unfinished part, just adding this. Um, we're going to have a bathroom in here. Better turn the light on. Oop, can't turn the light on. Let's go back, and I guess I'll show you how we turn the lights on in, in the cabin here. You turn the inverter on, and we can go back over here. on. See how good that works. But we got a toilet. We're bucket flushing it right now. Um, then uh, I got crazy and bought a real big uh, one-piece shower to put in here. So that's going to be really nice. I'm pretty excited about that. Um, it's a big deal when you're up here working or riding ATVs or whatever. It's nice to be able to take a shower. Um, I'm going to have a sink in there. I don't have that. Just kind of pay for things as we go. going to be all 12 volt lighting. Uh, in here also and this is the master bedroom uh, got a queen size bed in here uh, this is 12 uh, this bedroom's 12 by 9 uh, seems to be enough room uh, got a window in there and then we built for ceiling in the bathroom there's a storage loft up there to store things in I can't see up there too good but it's a nice little loft area Again, that'd be 12 foot by uh, by seven. Um, the thing I really want to see if I can show you here is my batteries. I got uh, eight gel cell batteries back there in the corner. Um, those things have been awesome. They're 155 amp hour a piece times eight, and I put them together with L series copper. Uh, the copper just was the the awesome way to do it. it holds more, uh, handles more amperage than, than the actual hot gauge wire. I've actually had the wire get warm and the copper's gold before. Um, we'll get more for you uh, as things progress. Uh, gonna in the spring we're gonna hit it again real hard and get a septic system in and uh, uh, clean up the wiring on this. Oh, I guess I forgot too. I got a 12 volt panel. This is how I how you control. The different things so that everything's fused. Um, wow, this is my first video. Uh, hope you saw some cool stuff. Uh, and uh, I got a lot of good ideas on the burner for uh, for 2013. So we'll uh, we'll talk to you again. Thanks.